Hi friends, I'll be demonstrating the simple steps involved in creating a new study in Dadu's perspective. The first step is to log in to Dadu's perspective. Once logged in, you will see two tabs, the home tab and the manage users tab. The home tab is visible to all users at all access levels. The manage users tab is only visible to administrators. You can create a new study by selecting new and defining the name of the study. It will be added to the list here. In the manage users tab, you can add, edit and delete users you can define the various levels of access that they can have for specific studies and their affiliation to collection centers moving back to the home tab and the study that we just created so after you select the study you will be seeing the home page of that study currently we have not defined the principal investigator the coordinator we don't have any collection centers and as a result everything is blank now let's start defining all these things one by one we go to collection centers collection centers are different sites that are going to collect data defining them is quite simple just click on new add the name of the center and click on save and it will be added here if you want to delete a collection center click on this red button here the next step is to design a ecrf a data collection form and we do that through the modify encounter tab you can define multiple questionnaires in a specific sequence here a questionnaire is called an encounter you can define a new encounter called baseline after you create a new encounter you need to define the type of question the type of form that will collect the data you can choose to either create a completely new form from scratch or you can reuse previous forms designed by yourself or designed in the study previously I'm going to create a new form once I do that I can see a link in the encounter it takes me to the specific questionnaire every encounter is divided into question groups containing various questions each having answer options let's define a new question group you can define the number of rows and columns that you want define the type of questionnaire or de define the kind of structure of the questionnaire that you want I'm going to choose standard and save group and next you can define the specific questions and you can you can choose the various answer options ranging from text single alternative multiple alternative date variable time variable and numerical variable You also need to add the variable label. In this way, you can create a question group and various questions inside a question group. Click on save. You can choose to make the entire questionnaire mandatory by selecting this option here, or you can choose to make a specific question mandatory by going to that question and choosing answering is required 
now we move on to add or update subjects tab you can add the subjects in your study by defining their subject number and adding their information save after you have added the subject to the list you need to add the subject to the study as you can see we added a new subject SFSF and the forms for that subject have been defined okay the next step is to look at the add update users tab it primarily allows a coordinator to add or update users who are going to access that specific study to enter data the next step is source documentation you can add guidelines and instructions for the data collection coordinator or the research assistant to follow through the source documentation tab the final step is regulatory files where you can add consent forms or any other regulatory files required for reference purposes during the implementation of the study once you have defined all these things we come back to the home page we can now see a subject added to the study you can extract the data by clicking on extract data here you can extract the variable level definitions through data dictionary and you can do a master clear by this option here thank you